EFCC arraigned Stella Obasanjo's brother, Abebe, for alleged forgery. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission on Thursday arraigned a businessman, John Abebe, for alleged forgery. Obebe, who is a younger brother of the late former First Lady, Stella Obasanjo, was arraigned on four counts before the Lagos State Special Offences Court in Akeja. The EFCC, in the charges, claimed that Obebe knowingly forged a November 30, 1995 letter written by BP Exploration Nigeria Limited to Njukon, Nigeria, Limited. The anti-graft agency claimed that the businessman illegally inserted into page 2 of the said letter, the following words, also note that the buyout option only applies to the pre-production stage of the NPIA. The $4 million buyout is thus irrelevant from the production of oil in any of our fields. According to the EFCC, Abebe also attempted to pervert the course of justice by tendering the allegedly forged November 30, 1995 letter, as a fabricated evidence, in court, in suit no. FHC, L, C, S, 224, 2010 between Dr. John Abebe and Njukon Nigeria Limited on one hand and Statoil Nigeria Limited on the other hand. The EFCC accused him of making an attempt to mislead the court by using fabricated evidence contrary to Section 122 of the Criminal Code Cap C-17, Law of Lagos State of Nigeria 2003. The EFCC prosecutor, Rotimi Oidepo, told the court that by attempting to pervert the course of justice, Abebe violated Section 126-2 of the Criminal Code Cap C-17, Law of Lagos State of Nigeria 2003. The prosecutor added that forgery was a violation of Section 467 of the Criminal Code Cap C-17, Law of Lagos State of Nigeria 2003. But when the charges were read to the businessman on Thursday, he pleaded not guilty. Justice Mojisola died asked while adjourning the case till August 2, 2018 to enable the defense counsel, Mr. Luche NWOKD, San, to file an application for his client's bail, ordered that Abebe should be remanded in a Koi prison. John Abebe arraigned for forgery, remanded in a Koi prison. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. One of the count breeds, that you, drive. John Warimi Mabebe, on or about the 22nd day of June, 2010 in Lagos, within the jurisdiction of this honorable court, knowingly forged BP Exploration Nigeria Limited's letter dated 30 November, 1995, to Njukon, Nigeria, Limited by inserting in page 2 of the said letter the following words, also note that the buyout option only applies to the pre-production stage of the NPIA. The $4 million buyout is thus irrelevant from production of oil in any of our fields, and purported same to have been issued by BP Exploration Nigeria Limited and committed an offence contrary to Section 467 of the Criminal Code Cap C-17, Law of Lagos State of Nigeria 2003. Another count reads, that you, drive. John Warimi Mabebe, on or about the 22nd day of June, 2010 in Lagos, within the jurisdiction of this honorable court, knowingly used the fabricated evidence in suit no. FHC, L, C, S, 224, 2010 between drive. John Abebe, in Dukon Nigeria Limited and Statoil Nigeria Limited, before the Federal High Court, which evidence was admitted and marked Exhibit BB in the said suit and committed an offence contrary to Section 122 of the Criminal Code Cap C-17, Law of Lagos State of Nigeria 2003. The defendant pleaded not guilty to the charge when it was read to him. In view of his plea, Rotimi Oidepo asked the court for a trial date and prayed for accelerated hearing. I urge your lordship to invoke the spirit of Section 19 of the EFCC Act and I also pray your lord to remand the defendant in prison custody. The defense counsel, Uche NWOKD, San, however, informed the court of a bail application. He also prayed the court to remand the defendant in the EFCC custody, pending the outcome of the bail application. 
a post shared by EFCC Nigeria at official FCC on July 26, 2018 at 9.46 a.m. Pacific Daylight Saving Time Think Your Friend would be INTRESTED. Share this story using any of the share button below down arrow place your text advert below greater than 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 loading Share your story with us via email. Info at 247 Nigeria News Update.co Receive news via our WhatsApp. Kindly text 234,701056-0394-2. Add you. Click here to join us on our YouTube channel for news update. Click here to join us on Twitter for instant news update at 247NGNEWSUPDAT. Click here to join millions around the globe to read news on our Facebook fan page for instant updates on Instagram. Click here receive instant news update via our BBM broadcast D3DEFDF.